everybody video here for you today now before i move on to other parts of the world i'd like to talk about one more period of history one other location in this area talked about a lot recently but today we are going to go down to van turkey right on the huge lake van here we're right in the east side we have some 27 2800 year old ruins right down here castle fortress occupied by many different people but built by the people of ararat kingdom of van also known as urartu but urartu means the people of ararat and this is where they built their fortress here's a look at the ruins up here today about 2700 years old this place got going probably about the same time as the 23rd 24th dynasty of egypt pretty impressive ruins up there here we are down below the ruins looks like they start down here but most of them are up on top here if you look here here's some mounds are in here not sure what those are all about here's a look from the top this place was occupied by many different people different periods of history but it says the armenians parthians romans persians the byzantines arabs ottomans russians each controlled this fortress this castle for a period of time here is a large inscription found on the south side of this outcropping here made by king xerxes a persian king ahuru mazda is the great god the greatest god who created the sky and created the land and created the humans who gave prosperity to the humans who made xerxes king king of many kings being the only ruler of totality of all lands i am xerxes the great king king of kings the king of the lands, king of all the languages, king of the great and large land. The king Xerxes says, the king Darius, my father, praise be, Ahuru Mazda, made a lot of good in this mountain. He ordered work, its cliffs, and he wrote nothing on it. So me, I ordered to write here, may Ahuru Mazda protect me with all the goods. And so my kingdom and what I have done just to give you an idea some of the views here some ruins down below and up on top some ruins of the castle there in the top left here's a different view of the ruins what these must have looked like in their original form must have been pretty impressive here's a pic of the ruins coming from 104 years ago 1916. here's a large stella of a king of Arartu, king sarduri coming from about 2800 years ago he is also known to the Assyrians as Ishtar Duri. Here's a map of the ancient kingdom of Urartu, kind of where Armenia and Turkey and Iran kind of converge in this area. But they were the last ones to occupy Norsentepe that I talked about yesterday. Here's a pic from 1916 inside the citadel. They say a large stella once sat here. Here is a looted tomb coming from the Urartians here. Now here is a very interesting depiction. This comes from a helmet. They say he is holding a spath cone and they are holding little seed bags. Are those those handbags, but they are seeding the tree of life here. I find that very interesting. These people had a pretty good symbolism going here. Here is another similar depiction, except these guys have wings on. Very interesting, holding those little bags there. Here's a very interesting artifact. These people's god, Tushpuya. Seems to be a flyer of some sort. Here's a representation of their god, Haldi, carrying something there. Seems to have horns, the sun symbolism, wings. This has a little bit of it all right here. Here's a very interesting cylinder seal coming from these people. We've seen that kind of symbolism before. So I'm flying there on the left. And that is pretty interesting right there. Now, as I understand it, this lake level kind of has fluctuated over time. It's risen a lot in the recent times. Let's just take a look at what was found down here under the waters. Now, this story came out in November of 2017. And I remember when it came out, but I can't believe it's been about two and a half years ago. It seems fairly recent. But they found ruins of a castle. The Armenian castle under Lake Van here it says a team of Turkish archaeologists have discovered the remains of what is believed to be a 3,000 year old castle from the Armenian kingdom of Arartu or Ararat submerged underwater in Lake Van.
said the ruins belonged to an Iron Age Armenian civilization, also known as the Kingdom of Van, Urartu, Ararat, and Armenia. The lake itself is believed to have been formed by a crater caused by a volcanic eruption of Mount Nemrut near the province of Van. The current water level of the reservoir is about 150 meters higher than it was during the Iron Age. Civilizations living around the lake set up large villages and settlements while the water level of the lake was low, but they had to leave the area after it increased again. 150 meters, I'll say it increased. I will leave this link below. It has a video attached here, them diving on these 3,000 year old ruins here at the bottom of the lake. It says, although now within the borders of the Republic of Turkey, Lake and Town Van is the very heartland of Armenian civilization since time immemorial. In fact, so much so that it is considered the very place where Armenian ethnic identity was first born. Here are a few more looks at the underwater ruins here. They suspect this being a 3,000 year old castle. Are they positive? Uh, not 100%, but they're pretty sure. Here is a view overlooking Lake Van. I guess they have their own local legend of the sea monster living in here, kind of like Loch Ness and Lake Champlain, a few others around the Americas here. Here is another link I will leave below. I guess they found a 3,000 year old footprint here, about 10 inches long, coming from a woman, I guess. How they determine that, I'm not really sure. There's another look. Here is a 10th century Armenian monastery that used to sit near the shore of the lake. I'm not sure if it's submerged or what happened to this place. Here is a look at Akhtamar, the Armenian cathedral of the Holy Cross. That's a pretty beautiful scene there. I just found this was an interesting topic. I have not talked about this culture before. I've talked about the area. And of course, we have talked about the tree of life before, and these so-called handbags seeding the tree of life. That's pretty interesting. Well, that is a period of history in a kingdom I have never talked about. I have talked about ruins in this area of the world. Some underwater dam construction. This place, the lake just seemed to rise an incredible amount. That's a kind of a mysterious lake there. But the kingdom of Armenia, Arartu, Kingdom of Anne. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very safe day.